Sac uh, The background, the primary cardiac tumor is a very rare disease with an incident between uh, 0 0.0017 to 0 0.019%. Among them, 25% uh, are malignant and uh, sacrum account for 95%. Angiosacrum is a common subgroup seen the symptom uh, as uh, often non-specific and the disease are so rare. The diagnosis of cardiac angiosacrum before surgery is difficult and often confusing. Uh, most heart tumors are diagnosed with the panic mesomer and uh, and sacrum as only suspect when there are signs of invasion and metastasis or the case report of a 28 years old male patient was hospitalized by Disney this for one month uh, he would uh, treat at the previous hospital with the diagnosis of pleural effusion and pericardial tamponade on uh, tuberculosis test and uh, cytology exam, uh, pleural and pericardial fluid are negative. He had a pleural and pericardial drainage, antibiotic treatment, and was discharged for after three weeks. After two weeks, uh, ten days after, the patient has left chest tightness and dyspnea, and fever with the temperatures uh, from. Uh, 38 to 39 degrees Celsius and found a mass in the right atrium chamber on the echocardiogram. Uh, three days after, ah, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Ah. This a mass in the right atrium chamber suspect the mysomar. And uh, three days after hospitalization, the patient has a chest x-ray and then chest computer tomography with the IMAC or, or multiple diffuse lung parent chemo nodule no from uh, suspect or malignancies. Uh, in the CT scan, we can see the bilateral multiple uh, nodule on the CT scan and we suspect or malignancies. And uh, we can see the diffuse pericardial thickening uh, and we also see the angiogenesis lesson located in the right atrium here and here. Yeah. We suspect our malignancies. And uh, the patient was a uh, IMEC uh, guided transthoracic needle biopsy, and the result was uh, a typical cell lesson. After 10 days of treatment, the patient has a hemotipsis, increased dyspnea, and tachycardia, tachycardia, hypotension, and low pulse pressure. The echography suspects a right atrial tumor with a size of 12 and 40 millimeters clinging to the ceiling of the right atrium. The fibrous pericardial tamponade, left ventricle diastolic dysfunction at the grade 3. Uh, here we can see the right atrial tumors and the tamponade, cardiac tamponade. Uh, yeah. uh, in this emergency situation, the multidisciplinary teams decide to perform surgery to remove the pericardium. Remove the tumor in the right atrium and do the right ventricular and lung biopsy. And the, history, and the histology result was uh, intravascular angiosacrum. And the definitive diagnosis was uh, cardiac angiosacrum with a pulmonary metastar state 4 according to TNM. And after surgery, the patient was treated with the chemotherapy at the hospitalized in uh, oncology. Uh, this is uh, histology result of the patient. And we can see there in the figure A's. Uh, the tumor consists of polyhedral cells arranged in the DAN clusters and uh, the tumor cells was positive for the immunohistochemical
chemistry marker CD21, uh, the ERG, and the CD34. Uh, uh, then the patient received a chemotherapy with the AI regimen, the isoforfamide and dosorubicin. Due to the myocardial toxicity of the dosorubicin, the patient already received the isoforfamide intravenous with the dose of uh, 3 gram per meter per uh, 20 hours for three consecutive days. And after three sessions, the patient was complete remission. And the patient then received three more sessions of chemotherapy. And then the patient has a three months follow-up visit. The recurrent cancer has not been detected. Or the primary heart tumor is uh, extremely rare disease uh, with a detection rate of uh, autopsy is uh, about 0.001 to 0.03 percent and the heart tumors was uh, uh, 75 benic and uh, 25 malignants and 90 percent of malignancies was uh, cardiosacrums and the cardiosacrum was the most common subtype with the 30 percent and most commonly occur in the right atrial chambers and often invade the neighboring tissues uh, such as the lung, the pericardium and uh, is originate from the cardiac mesenchymal cells and is had two types, the extravascular and the intravascular with the better prognosis and four states based on TNM uh, the clinical and the imaging features, the cardiac sacrum has the following presentation depend on the tumor characteristic. One, the clog of the heart veil and completely obstruct the heart veil may cause a sudden death. Two, the local invasions uh, causes ar arrhythmia or pericardial effusion. Uh, the patient in our uh, case has these uh, uh, features with the pericardial effusion and uh, cardiac tamponade and constrictive pericarditis. The embolism uh, in the cerebral coronary artery, pulmonary artery, retinal artery due to a piece of tumor or thrombosis surrounding the tumors. And for the non-specific symptoms such as dyspnea, syncope, chest pain, fever, weight loss, and uh, the diagnosis is often late because the uh, symptom is non-specific. Uh, so the role of careful clinical examination and the indicative of complete subclinical investigation is essential to, so as not to miss the disease. The echocardiography and the transversal echocardiography most important and primary tune with the sensitivity is 97 percent. It's difficult to distinguish the tumor and the thrombus. The cardiac sacrum in the atrium can be misdiagnosed with the atrial mysoma. Uh, the Kim, uh, Kim studies pro pros several several sides uh, of the echocardiography differentiate with the left sacrum from the benic left um, atrial mesomers and the histo and the histopathology the tumor tissue can be combined with a highly and poorly differentiated reason and the immunohistochemistry is the most important to diagnose the cardiosacrum uh, in the angiosacrum um, the markers such as uh, PLF1 and the ERG CD31 and CD34 is the most uh, markers, uh, is the most important marker. And the treatment matters depend on each patient, with the, but the curative surgery has played the leading role. But it's difficult because the negative section will have a better prognosis. Uh, if the tumor cannot be completely removed sur surgically, more than 90% 90, 90 per percent of patients die in the first year, regardless of post-operative therapy. 
so my conclusion, uh, cardiac sacrum is an extremely rare yeah. cancer, but uh, it's invasive and fast growing, has a bad prognosis and a high mortality rate. Uh, the early treatment combining many methods such as surgery, chemotherapy, and targeted therapy and immunotherapy can bring a certain effect. And thanks for your attention. Thank, thanks so Sorry much for, for presenting your case.